Okay, guys. Good afternoon or good evening, everyone. Welcome to join our online training course. This is Carl. And this is Aaron. And it's our great honor to be here and share some basic knowledge of LD screen and the display solution from Colorlight. Before we get started in this training, we know that you may have some technical questions during this training. Please feel free to ask your questions by chat window and we will answer them in time. For sure, that is not what you are interested in the control system or new technology. We can arrange more online training course in the future and then continue to make a progress and do it better. After this training, if there is any technical thing that we could help with, please email to Aaron Lee at ldnets.com. I will upload this recorded video to our YouTube channel. You could find us by scanning the QR code at the end of the, this presentation or searching color light technology on YouTube. It will be great to see your comment on our channel. You could also follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn to get the latest information about our training. By the way, taking this opportunity to wish you all and your family good health during this special circumstance. Today's topic is LED screen basic knowledge and display solution. Let's take a look at the first part, LED screen basic knowledge. There are three parts in total. First is the LED's working principle, and then some terms explanation. And the last is loading capacity. For LED working principle, the LED's drive display needs to be connected to the positive electrode and the negative electrode, which is turned on by voltage. Generally speaking, the positive electrode of the LEDs is uniform, uniformly connected to the decoding chip, such as 138, 5958. And then the negative electrode is uniformly connected to the constant current driver IC, such as ICN2153 or ICN2038F. The video signal is transmitted to the receiving card through the sending card. And the receiving card transmits the RGB data to the driving IC which cooperates with the decoding chip to control the lighting and the progressive scanning of the lamp. As you can see, the four row LEDs lights up row by row, and then realize the circle, uh, cycle scan display. If the scan speed fast enough, then the screen will display smoothly by human eyes. Next, we go to terms explanation. First is gamma mapping and grid scale. The video single color depth is generally 8 bit, 10 bit, a small part is 12 bit. And the LED display requires a gamma mapping of the corresponding input. The actual grid level after Conversion depends on the driver IC. At present, the grid level after gamma mapping generally is 12 bit to 16 bit. The grid value of each level can be viewed through the gamma table. Take 8 bit video source input and 12 bit driver IC as an example. The input is 0 to 255 grid scale. 
What actually appears on the LED screen is the grid scale value of 0 to 4095, corresponding to 0 to 255 grid scale. For the grid, for the grid scale, different grid values present different brightness. The larger the grid value, the more times the LED is light up. And the longer the lightning time, the higher the brightness. Refresh rate. Refresh rate means the number of the times that the LED lamps completes the highest grid scale display in one second. Because of the difference in data processing speed between the regular driver IC and the PWM driver IC. The time for the PWM driver IC to complete the highest grid scale display is much shorter than that of the regular driver IC. Therefore, the refresh rate of the PWM driver IC is much higher than the regular driver IC. The DCL key determines the data transmission speed from receiving card to driver to driver IC. DCL key determines the data transmission speed from PWM driver IC to LEDs. The next term is about the loading capacity. The loading capacity of a single Ethernet port is related to the actual output bandwidth. Bandwidth uses reach, frame reach, and color depth. The transmission bandwidth of the Ethernet cable is one gigabit. The usage reach is about 90%. The common depth is eight bit, and the frame reach is 60 Hertz. In this case, the loading capacity is about 0 0.65 million pixels. Therefore, we usually calculate as 0 0.65 million pixels for one port in LED screen projects. In the actual configuration process, we must calculate the actual loading capacity according to the largest rectangular shape. As the picture shows, port one is connected to only seven cab lanes, but in reality, we need to calculate as eight cab lanes. And there are only eight cab lanes connected to the port two, but you actually need to calculate as 16 cab lanes. Our second part is about LED display solution. Let's go to understand it together. There are two parts. One is synchronized display and another is cloud control display. The first one is synchronized solution. We have three series synchronized center the color light S series is an economic and simple model represented by S6F. The X series is all in one controller and it's very cost effective, represented by X20, which supports multiple inputs and video processing. The Z series is a high-end version that supports high-end functions such as HDR, color magic, multi-frame reprogramming, represented by Z6 Pro G2. The entire synchronized display system generally includes video source, video processing devices, sending devices, 
transmission devices, receiving cards and screens, and control platform. The relevant devices can be increased or decreased according to the actual project requirements. But how should we choose? There are some questions need to understand. How many pixels of the LED screen it is? And how many pixels in height and width? How many Ethernet ports are required? How many pixels can be controlled in height and width with the controller? What kind of input ports and how many of them are required by the project? How far between the control room and the LED screen it is? Do we need to use the optic fiber devices? And if there is any other functions are required for this project? To answer these questions better, we can look at a few simpler examples. The project one. LED screen resolution is 2680 by 1512 pixels within 4K. The cabinet resolution is 384 by 216. The total pixels of the whole screen is about 4 million pixels. And the number of Ethernet ports required is 7 pixels. X7 has 8 Ethernet ports and the width can go to 8192 pixels in maximum and height can go to 4096 pixels. So we can choose X7 to carry the screen. And X7 supports SDI, HDMI, DVI single input at the same time. It supports up to three layers picture in picture function. Now we go to project B. It's a 4K plus LED screen. It's using X20 and H10 FN or H10 fixed fiber optic transceivers to achieve long distance transmission. X20 has a maximum width of 16384 pixels and a maximum height of 8,192 pixels and total capacity up to 13 million pixels. At the same time, it supports six inputs such as HDMI 2.0 and DP 1.4 and it supports six layers picture in picture. Okay, next. Let's take one demonstration session with Changli LED screen and color light X16E controller. Aaron will take the microphone. Hi, this is Aaron. So we will take the demo with the X16E and also the Changli screens. So here is the video both on the edge screen and the controller. And also we will need to open the control software version to set up the, the, the screen. After we open the software and just go to the edge screen configuration. And the password always going to 168. And there are three pages for the configuration. The first page 
is for the sending device. So you will need to choose sender, wallet card, or pay both. It depends on the sending device. Now it's X seven, uh, 16E, so we are choosing the sender and the sender. And also we need to confirm the receiving card detection. So confirm the hardware connection is all right. And then at least we need to make sure we got one input of the sending device. We can easily drag the input to the left part for output or just click the input single to switch in the input source. And next, we can go into the receiving card parameters page to configure the edit screen. It's all the channel modules already configured in the edit factory. So we already have the RCBB file, which means the configuration file for each kind of modules. So we only need to load from the files. Just check the models of the module, then find the file and save to the recent card. And last part, we will need to save the mapping. Set up the uh, capital resolution and also the resume card quantity. Then we get the whole image on the edit screen. So that's all for the settings. After that, we can set up the sending device more functions inside. So in the sending device page, there are more functions of the controllers, depends on the control type. So with the X16E, also have the 3D set, set, settings. And also the IP control. So you can set up one IP address for the controller and then you can remotely control the existing where IP address. And also the precise color measurement, which means once you get the original color space of the edit screen, then you can write inside of the software. After that, you can convert the color space to output and reach your target. About the other page, there are the, some functions inside. As best grace level on no blood list. So it means you will get a better performance on the low brightness. And also the mapping from sender. So we have two modes to save the mapping. One is saved to the response card, another is saved to the sender. And also in this page, you can do the factory restore. Sometimes maybe something happened, but you don't know how to solve. And then you can try to factory restore. And the last page for the detailed resume card to check resume card model or the family version, and also all the hard hardware connections between the cabinet. Okay, that's all for the demos. Thank you. Let's move to the next part. Okay, thanks, Aaron. Car is back. Next part uh, is about our cloud solutions. This year, Colorlight had launched four new players in A series. Those are A100, 
A200, A2K, and A4K. As a brand new series, it has an edge in the application of outdoor commercial advertising screens. Screen of chain stores and lamp poster screens or taxi screen projects. Smart city is becoming more and more popular as an important carrier of 5G base station. Lamp pole is an important part of content display. Those projects we've done before, including lamp pole project in Malaysia. This project had more than 500 piece of C3 Pro players. Through the 4G or 5G internet technology, the car screen can conveniently realize a series of intelligent advertising service such as location-based service to help customers achieve accurate advertising. For fixed installation at school, chain store, and petrol station screen. Even though in different cities, we still can update contents by our cloud server. Let's check the different difference between those players. We can see the capacity, the Android platform version, the hardware decode difference between these devices. Let's see the comparison with previous generation products. The performance of the A series has been improved by more than 50%, many reflected in faster startup and reboot speed, stronger 4G and Wi-Fi signal, more effective program publish, and more compatibility of video formats. Besides, it's also become more stable. And then let's take a brief overview of the hardware interface. From front view, there is a antenna for 4G and Wi-Fi signal enhancement. Indicator for a sync and sync status and a button for mode switching. A100 and A200 both support IR remote control. Then there is a SIM card slot. Many customers feed it back to us that they need to open the case of the clear box and then insert the SIM card, which was relatively inconvenient. And now all of A series players improve the SIM card interface without taking apart the case. From the back view, USB and NAND for cape control and the RG11 sensor port, RG11 sensor port to, uh, for environment information detection, like temperature, humidity, smoke, speed, and air condition. Next port is HDMI in and out ports. HDMI out supports two modes. The first mode, like a regular standing card, it can work as a single loop. The second mode is internal contents output. The main difference between A100 and A200 is loading capacity. There are four Ethernet ports on a what? Uh, four Ethernet ports on A two hundred. Well, two ports on A one hundred. The product positioning of A four K is a networked player box with HDMI two point zero four K output capac 
sorry. With HDMI 2.0 4K output capability, it mainly has the following advantages. A variety of networking methods support serial port control and secondary development. In commercial 4K large screens, such as shopping malls, chain stores, LD and LCD unified management demand projects. It has a unique advantage. For RS-232 port, it can communicate with external devices. And there is audio output, output ports with 3.5 millimeter standard. It can output hi-fi stereo standard audio. The type C port can set display parameters and publish programs. And there are also two piece of USB 2.0 ports and one piece of USB 3.0 port. They are used to connect to the USB camera, USB flash drive, it's material. And this Ethernet port is to have access to the local area network. Now we go to the features. In projects with synchronized and asynchronized requirements, the A200 can automatically scale the HDMI single according to the screen resolution to cover the full screen. Customers don't need to do any more settings after switching the input sources. And next is IR control. It supports synchronized and asynchronized switching, program switching, and brightness adjustment. It also supports volume adjustment and OSD function to display the current playback box status. A2K or A4K can also be used in front of the other brand controller. It can save your budget for project because it can replace the PC. And it can also let you use the color light cloud for free. An A4K used together with color light 4K controller can realize 4K LED screen cloud control. About the mirror screen project, through the cascade of HDMI, it can not only play the material alone, but also can play a complete picture. The video is stored in the first player, and then the video is played synchronously through an HDMI cascade. And then it's a color light cloud content management system. The color light cloud is totally free for all functions. Based on color light cloud, our networked players are perfectly suited for commercial digital synergies, smart city applications, and so on. Users can realize screen management and control via different operating systems quickly access the most secure and reliable cloud data center. If you want to have a try, we also can register the test account for you. The Player Master is a professional Windows-based software. It is designed especially for Color Light Cloud Series products.
it in, it integrates cloud network and non management with new program creating way. It can automatically cloud network and uh, local area network schedule control. It provides us with a comprehensive and convenient cloud player management mode. Okay, now it's time for the question and answer session. If you have any questions about this training or our products, please send your questions in the chat room or raise your hand in the Zoom software so I can unmute your microphone and then we can have a communication. Hello, any questions, maybe? Please feel free to ask your questions or put up your hands on the software. Okay, if you don't have any questions, then we will finish this course. And thanks for your listening. And also you can, if you have any other feedback from, from your side about our company products, then you can email to us. By colorless at let, let's, Thank you.